In this video today, we're gonna to go over the accessibility settings on the brand new Apple Vision Pro. We're also gonna talk about how to navigate with voiceover and go over the basic gestures. Hey guys, my name is Sam. This is The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. On this channel, I make content for and about the blind and visually impaired with a heavy emphasis on assistive technology. If that kind of content sounds good to you, then consider subscribing, turning on notifications, hitting the like button, and stick around for a lot more Apple Vision Pro content. All right, let's jump into it. I gotta plug it up first. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and navigate to the settings and along the way, we'll talk about the voiceover gestures. The first thing you're gonna learn very quickly, whether you are using voiceover or you're not, there's a specific way you need to hold your hand while you're wearing the Apple Vision Pro. The key to remember is hold it like you're holding a cup. Just out in front of you here, you can rest it on your lap, you can hold it in front of you, wherever you want. But to get into our home, we need to hit our digital crown button here at the top right. Home, Contr ex expand, home, selected, apps, tab, one of three. The basic navigation gestures are to move forwards, you do an index finger to thumb tap. People, tab, environments, tab, selected, apps, tab, one of three. To move back, it's a middle finger to thumb tap. Environments, people, tab, two of three, free form, settings, button. To choose something, it's a ring finger to thumb tap, or you can index to thumb tap on your opposite hand. Control set settings, setting. Now in settings, you can switch hands. If you are left hand dominant, then you can set that to be your primary hand. That's no problem at all. All right, settings is laid out just like it is in an iPad or an iPhone. Sidebar, add Apple Care Plus. There are 60 days, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, selected, apps, button, people, people awareness. And button. accessibility is pretty far down the list. Accessibility, There button. we are. So ring finger to thumb tap. Accessibility, heading. Another really helpful gesture is how to jump into different containers or different columns basically how to set the focus into a different area very quickly. To do that, you do a long tap, long press, or long pinch of your index to thumb. Display and, and then wherever Just you zoom. point your oh. head, Button. Persona. People. Focus. it Isaac looks, Display. it goes there over. Just zoom. while you're oh. pinching. Button. If you want to stop the reading or pause the reading, the speech output, you know, on your phone or your iPad, it's a two finger tap on the screen. For that, it is a non-dominant hand, what is it, middle finger to thumb tap. So let's see. Display and text. We just stopped her from talking, we just paused it. If I do the same gesture, middle finger to thumb on the non-dominant hand. Size, button. She continues. Another super helpful gesture is to be able to move your window or to resize your window. Down at the bottom of the window, there is the app placement bar. There, right next to that is the close button. On the bottom corners is your resizing buttons, I guess. But once you're down there, it is a double tap and hold of your ring finger to your thumb on your dominant hand or the index finger to the thumb on your non-dominant hand. Basically the same gesture that you choose things, you pick things, this time you're gonna do a double tap and hold. App placement bar. And we've got it here. App placement bar. And Settings. I can move it around. All right, let's quickly look through the vision related settings here. First we'll go into display. Privacy display button. Display heading. Text size button. Button. M display. You can adjust button. the text size. Text size. Empty list. 91%. Apps that support dynamic type will adjust to your preferred reading size above. 91%. Adjustable. 91%. 91%. 91. 100%. To grab that slider is a double tap and hold of your ring finger to thumb on your dominant hand or the index to thumb on your non-dominant hand. You can turn on bold text. Brightness. Heading. Set your brightness. Screen brightness. 100 display heading appearance extra large 
button. Now you can set the appearance of displays, um, basically windows and all of that. It's kind of like on the larger iPads and the larger iPhones, you can set the size of the display. This has several options. I have it set to the maximum currently. Search, control center, accessibility, button. All right, now let's jump into accessibility. Accessibility, heading, vision, heading, voiceover, on, button. Voiceover is turned on. Zoom. On, button, Keep accessibility, back button, zoom, heading, zoom, keyboard shortcuts, on, but zoom controller, switch button, off, zoom region, full screen zoom, button, use crown to zoom, switch button, on, when enabled, double press and hold the top button to use the digital crown to zoom when the crown is being used for other system interactions, maximum zoom level, heading, maximum zoom level, 5.0 times, adjustable, 5.89.2 times. Okay, so we do have zoom on here, and Settings. it's very interesting how it works. Um, by default, it's set to lens, Settings. but I set it to full screen, and I'll show you how it Settings. works. In order to trigger it, I'm going to turn off voiceover. Siri, turn off voiceover. Voiceover off. Now the voiceover is off, not constantly talking to us. To trigger it, there's a couple different ways, but right by default, set up with a double click of the left button, and then you use your, your digital crown here to zoom in. There we go. So as you see, it only zooms the window, the current window. But this is kind of cool, now you can interact with it the way that uh, you'd normally would with the Apple Vision Pro without voiceover turned on. So you double click and hold and then you do the spin the crown, the digital crown to zoom in or zoom out. So that is the zoom. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting way to utilize that. Head display and text size button. Okay, display and text size. Kind of the same thing we saw before. Display and tap, bold tap, larger tap, button shapes, on slash off, ignore eye movements to stabilize, switch button, off. So ignore eye movements to stabilize. Uh, I, I haven't confirmed, but this might be for nystagmus. On. If you observe blurriness, jumpiness, or inconsistent colors, you can enable ignore eye movements to turn off dynamic image optimization. Increase focus state, switch button, on. Increase contrast for items when you look at them. Increase contrast, switch button, on. Increase color contrast between app foreground and background color. Differentiate without color. Switch button. Replaces user interface items that rely solely on color to convey information with Prefer horizontal text. Switch button. Prefer horizontal text. Classic invert. Switch. Classic invert revert. Color filters. Uh, color filters. Reduce white point. Reduce the intent. App placement bar. A lot of these are the same things that we see on iPhone and iPad. Color. Color. Cl pre replace. Re accessibility. Back button, motion, reduce motion, switch button, on. Reduce the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect of icons. Reduce motion, switch button, off. Reduce the motion of the user interface, autoplay message effects. Allows full screen effect, autoplay animated images, switch button, on. Controls whether images animate, autoplay video previews, switch button, app placement bar. Accessibility, back button, spoken content, speak selection, switch button, off. A speak button will appear when you select text. Speak screen. Switch button. Off. Typing feedback. Button. Voices. Button. Default language. Button. Voices. Button. To ch spoken content. Back button. Voices. To change the voice used by voiceover, go to accessibility settings. Voices. Heading. Yeah, I will do that. Spoken content. Back button. So all of this is basically the same. Spoken content. Speak selection. Accessibility, back button, Ac accessibility, head, audio descriptions, off, button. We can turn those on, let's go ahead and turn those on. Accessibility, back button, audio, audio descriptions, switch button, off, on. There we go. Audio description, accessibility, audio descriptions. So audio descriptions, that is just if you were watching content that are uh, has audio descriptions, it Settings. will automatically play them. Accessibility, eye input, head, both eyes select the eyes that will control Apple Vision Pro. So you have the option to choose either to use both eyes or if somebody only has vision in one eye, they can choose that as well. 
Pretty good. Either eye, too. Accessibility. Interaction. Assistive touch. Off. Assistive touch allows you to... Sound actions. Enabling sound actions will allow you to perform multiple actions quickly by making sounds. So this is pretty cool. Um, instead of controlling using your hands, they give you a lot of different ways to control the focus here, you know, or to choose things. So for someone that is has mobility impairment, then you can set up different ways to control things. One thing is instead of using your eyes, you can set up a virtual pointer. So wherever you point your finger, a line extends from your, your finger here to the screen and you just point at what you want to choose. But this one is sound actions. So, you know, if for some reason you want to control this whole thing with clicks and hisses and pops and whistles, you can do that. You can customize this to do that. It's kind of crazy. Accessibility. Back okay, button. let's jump into voiceover. So a lot of the settings, like I said, settings. are very similar. Voiceover. Stuff we're very voiceover. familiar with. Switch button. Voiceover speaks I left index pinch or right index pinch to move. Learn more. Link. Voiceover practice. Button. Voiceover tutorial. Button. So you do have a voiceover tutorial. You do have voiceover practice. I highly recommend you do this. Settings. I did it earlier and it helped out tremendously. Speaking rate. Heading. Speaking rate. Speech. Braille. Button. Voice over. Braille. We need Speech. to do a different Button. voice. Boy. Voice over. Ba Speech. Voice. Download voice. Selected. Voice 4. Using 450.2 MB. All right. Much better voice. Download voice. Download. Download. English. U.S. Siri. Oh, we got some distortion in the voice, though. Pronunciations. Button. Voice. Speech. Thing. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. We got some distortion in the voice. Voice over. Back button. Voice. Audio. Then. Bands. Rotor. Activities. Button. Typing. Then. Settings. Button. Quick settings allows you to access voiceover settings at any time. Access quick settings with left index modifier right ring pinch. So it says... To access the settings, you do a left index modifier, right ring pinch. That just means you hold down your left index finger and then do a right ring finger pinch at the same time. So we're going to do that. Search. Search voiceover. There Done. There it is. Ooh, we got some bad feedback. Done. Then. Insertion point active typing button. Keyboard. Here's our keyboard. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring it up, but here it is. So now we get to see what the keyboard looks like. Settings. Keyboard. Setting. Type voiceover. Back and button. once again, to, to bring Settings. focus to the keyboard, keyboard. I Setting. can keyboard. press Settings. and hold my right index thumb together keyboard. and then look keyboard. down at y. the keyboard. And now we're at the Yankee. keyboard. T R E W Q. Text preview. Dictation. Dictation. Here's our dictation. Okay. All right, so that was a look at the vision-related settings as well as talking a little bit about navigating and the basic voiceover gestures. As you saw, it has a lot of the same settings that we already see on the iPhone and the iPad, which is good. It's things that we're already very familiar with. And the gestures, uh, although they are different gestures, all the movement and all of that is very familiar as well. And like I tell my clients when I'm training voiceover gestures, it just takes patience and practice. I hope you like that, guys. If you need any more information, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because more Apple Vision Pro accessibility content coming out very soon. But that's it. This is Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.